first thing I need to do is I need to solve, I'm going to solve BG. Right? When I do BG, I'm going to draw it up here as a second model. Right? I'm going to assume that everything is pulling out. Right? So BG I don't know. And these two I need to eliminate. I eliminate them by finding the place we can use the meetup method. What is the meetup method? The meetup method is we're going to meet up at Q. Okay. So our forces that we have applied, we have external forces, we have 270, and on the top we have 300. They're external forces. We have three internal forces. This is the one we want to find, Biggie, BG. The other ones, Frog and Effie, we, we're going to... Uh, Eliminate. We're going to eliminate, we're going to make them effectively zero by meeting up at Q. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sum of the moments, sum of the moments about Q equals zero. So zero equals, and if we've got how many forces are there on this diagram? Two external, how many internal? Three. Three. One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so zero equals. We'll start with 270. So I'm going to write minus 270. How far away is 270 from Q? One, one, one meter, that's right. Isn't so plus 270? Yeah, I got plus as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're I, always write, I always write minus, and then I put my finger on the Q, and I spin, spin, <coughs> Ready? Spin, spin, spin. I can't even do my circles anymore. Okay, so it's going to be plus. It's going clockwise. Okay, next one. We've got 300. Minus 300. How many triangles away is it? How far away is it relative to Q? Half. Half. Half a triangle, so 0 0.5. Okay, again, I'm going to put my finger on Q, and I'm going to spin, spin. Which way am I going? Minus. Any clockwise, it's going to be minus, that's right. Okay, next we've got Big E. That's the one we're finding. So, all right, minus BG. Now, I've assumed that that arrow was going out of the node. The reason I'm assuming that was a convention, we're always going to assume that everything is going out of the node. If something's pulling out of the node, it's in tension. tension. So we assume it's in tension, we assume it's pulling out of the node. If it's going in this direction, well, first of all, how far away is this? If we were to measure that distance. Okay, so, me, I would just write 0 0.866 because I know that. But I'm going to explain that here quickly. If I have a triangle that's 2, 2, 2, I cut it in half, it's now a 1, 1. I run about this side of the board. Right. Now I've got the square root of 2 minus the square root of 1 equals, right? 4 minus 1 is 3, square root of 3, which would be 1.73. Square root of 1.73. That's if we're using 2 as our triangle. Hi. I'm really feeling as I'm going to have to cut this. Um, this is 0 0.5, right? If that's 0 0.5, that would be 0 0.866. Here's how we prove this, right? <coughs> so if this is our hypotenuse, if this is our... Where is the triangle? Opposite. This is the height. And this is 60 degrees, right? We know that opposite over... Sorry, sine theta. So sine theta equals soft opposite over hypotenuse. Yeah? We can rewrite that as height sine theta equals opposite. So in this case, if we know that this is 1 meter, the hypotenuse is 1, sine theta, sine 60 is 0 0.86. That equals the opposite. Our opposite equals 0 0.866 meters. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so the distance is 0 0.86 meters. 8.66 meters. What we call the disco number. Okay, if this is spinning, if this is spinning, if I've got my point on Q and it's going this way, clockwise. which way am I going? Clockwise. So I'm going to turn that, that minus into a plus. I, I like to do the slushy so I know that I've changed them. Okay. The next ones, the remaining points, we have FG, this is this point here. Now FG, we, it's not going... Don't that escalate <laughs> 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 Okay, so, this, it's, 
going not left or right, it's not going clockwise or anti clockwise, it's going into Ask the point. Scan. So, Ask minus FG times zero, minus FE times zero, right? So, what have we got? Zero equals 270 minus 150 plus. Make that zero Plus 0 0.866 BG. Now, if I have a positive BG, this is a positive value of biggie, right? I need to move that over here. So it's going to be minus 0 0.866 BG equals 270 minus 150 is what? 120. So if that's what if that's what 86% of a biggie costs, how much does a full biggie cost? Minus 138. Seven. Minus one three eight point what? Five seven. Point six. Okay. Now, what we're going to write in here, and we're just going to add on here. We assumed that this is positive, and the reason we assumed it was positive was why? Because we assumed it pulls out tension. Yeah, that's right. So, assume tension. So is that the first thing we could write? Right. right. Assume tension. Here, the number is negative. Therefore, our assumption, did anyone watch my video on no good? No. Therefore, assumption was no good, right? The assumption was not good. So if the assumption was wrong, therefore, it's not tension, therefore, it's compression. And so in, when I write my answer, I don't need to write the stuff in blue, I just write... Okay, so I'm going to put my correct answer in here, right? And for sake, I'll draw up my whole diagram up here as best I can. Looks like that. I work on already way over time. Um, okay, what was it? One three eight point six, and that's a C. Right? If it's going into the node on this side, it means that there needs to be an equal force on the other side of the member also going into the node. They're both going into the node. Or you could say that, that looks a bit like a C. I think it looks a bit like a C. C is for compression. Right? That's my way of remembering it. So if we wanted to find the internal, me internal members, that's our first one that we found. Okay, I'm going to clear this off now. We've got, hopefully, a still that we can take. So, um, yeah? If the shit's on this side and shit's on Moodle, is that exactly the sign we have to do? With the like on Moodle, the like the link with your sign, then is that exactly yes. right? Yes. Or are you planning to change it? Like the final sign. That's the final sign. Okay. Now, yeah, not really relevant to this. Okay. Right? We're going to keep going. Okay. So, the next one, what's the other one that we can solve using the meetup method? What's the other one we can solve using the meetup method? FA. FE. Okay, so if we want to find FE, what we have to do is we have to find where these two locations meet up. Where do these two things meet up? Point A. So we find where they meet up, we can make them zero by taking them at point P. Okay, so we do sum of our moments about P equals zero. Let's have a look. Zero, we'll start here, we've got the same five forces, let's have a look. Minus 270. Now, first of all, how far away is 270 from point P? Zero. Half a triangle away. Yeah, the distance, the perpendicular distance, if I extend that perpendicular distance all the way up, it's going to be, if I have, that's my force, my 270 newtons going up, and that's my point P, the closest distance, the perpendicular distance to that point is going to be half a triangle. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Which in this case, because they've said each triangle is one meter, we're going to say that's going to be 0 0.5 meters. The units, the units are not to say that the units don't matter, but they will cancel, so we can kind of ignore units. So I'm going to clear that off the side of the board. Okay. The question now is, is it in clockwise or anti-clockwise? So I'm going to put my finger on the point T, right? And I'm going to spin it. Clockwise. Clockwise, so it changes to a plus. I'm going to do the slash sideways so you can see that I've changed it. Okay, that's first point, 300. 
Okay, so we're going to write minus 300. How far away is 300 from point P? Nine, zero. Zero, zero. It's touching. It, let's try it out. If I put my finger on point P and I put the force, there's no, no turning force there, right? It doesn't turn it. Okay, next, we've got BG, minus BG. How far away is BG? We, we, we're going to assume, again, even though I've got our correct answer there, we're going to assume that everything's pulling from the node. If we assume that it's pulling from the node, but it's pulling from the node, the distance, it's zero. Mm. Minus FG, what's the distance? Yeah. Zero. <coughs> right? And finally, we have our FE. Minus FE. How far away is FE? This is FE. How far away is it? The perpendicular distance. Again, I'm going to draw that up here. If this is point P, right, and this is FE, the perpendicular distance to FE is 0 0.8666. Right, we've already calculated that on the other side. 0 0.8. Six, six. Okay, so let's go through the answers. First of all, we can move the minus Fe over to the other side, right? I'm going to assume you guys know that, that level of algebra. If it goes over the side, how we do that is we plus Fe and we plus Fe on this side. So what we're going to get is we're going to get plus Fe on this side here. Or actually, we're going to have 0 0.866 Fe equals what? What did we say this was? 135. 135 minus 0, 0, 0, so it's going to be 135, right? So, if I can buy 86% of an FE for $135, how much does a full FE cost? 155.9. 155.9 newtons. Now, let's add in, we assumed FE, we assumed it was negative. I didn't check, didn't go through the, the, the thing here. Let's have a look. Right, FE. We're assuming it's pulling out from the node. Yeah? Spin. Da, 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 da. Which way's it going? Anticlockwise. Anticlockwise. So it stays not negative. I, I should have explained that, but I'm at least doing it now. So we assumed here it was anticlockwise, right? So I'm going to say assume tension. Therefore, anti-clockwise, therefore negative. Right here, our answer is positive. Therefore, our assumption was okay. Therefore, we can say it was, in fact, intention. Okay, so we put that on our diagram now. We've got this one here. 155.9. And in both cases, it's pulling out of the node. In both cases, it's pulling out of the node. Now, this letter here, it looks like a tree in Japanese. Oh, it's a letter T. Right? T is for tension. Okay, are we happy with that? Yes. Great, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Lastly. Lastly, we have our FG, All right? So let's have a look here. We don't really, we're not going to use the meetup method here, All right? The meetup method doesn't work. The problem is we've got two unknowns. We've got Biggie, All right? And we've got Effie, and they never meet. They're parallel. Parallel lines never meet. And you can't use the meetup method for two lines that never meet. So we have to use the other method. What's our other method? Lone wolf. The lone wolf, right? The wolf, he gets things done. He does what others yeah. won't, right? So what we have to look at here is what are the sum of the forces vertically, right? The lone, lone wolf frog, frog is the only one here who can take a vertical component because BG is only horizontal. FE is only horizontal. Frog is the only one that can take any vertical components. Yeah? Are you happy with that? Frog is the only one that can take a vertical component? Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's find out what that vertical component frog needs to do. What does frog need to, 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 to deal with? Okay, we've got 300 going down. We've got 270 going up. 
How much is left? 30. Okay, so we need to have an extra 30 going up. That's what's missing, is an extra 30 going up. So we know that that component, that 30 going up, that needs to be done by the vertical part of frog. That's frog's vertical side. Yeah? Frog needs to take 30, he needs to take 30 going up. But frog is only going in one direction. What direction is frog going in? He's only going at 60 degrees from the horizontal, right? So if that's 30, how big does this need to be? If that's 30, how big does this need to be in order for that to work? Let's find out. Okay, well, let's find out. Okay, first of all, is it going to be bigger than 30 or not? Bigger. Yeah, it's going to have to be bigger because it's a hypotenuse. It also visually looks bigger, right? It visually looks bigger. Now, I can tell you that it's 30 divided by 0 0.66. Sorry, 30 divided by 0 0.866. 30 divided by sine 60, but let me prove that to you, right? So sine, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. No, you don't know that side. Oh, you could. You've got to use trigonometry. No, it's half an equilateral triangle. Oh, yeah. The triangle looks like this. So that's half. So this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite side. That's 60 it's not, degrees. It's not a yeah? distance, it's a force. You happy with that? Yeah. Right. Okay. So we want to find this opposite side. To find the opposite side, what we have to do is we have to say opposite equals hypotenuse times sine theta. Right? So what we've got here is we've got 30 sine 60. I know that 60 degrees is equal to 0 0.866, the disco number. Right? So our opposite side equals what? 30, 34, something like that? Uh, 34.64. 34.64. 6 will do. Yep. Okay, now it's going in that direction, right? We have to that specify way. it's going 60 degrees up. Okay, that means that from relative to this drawing, we need this force to be going up on this side of the diagram. But if we've got it, if it's if it's going up, it's going into the node or out of the node? Into. Into the node. So if it's going into a node, it's in what? Compre <laughs> Compression. Compression. Thank you. So when we go into the node and into the node, we get what letter? T C. or C? It's a C, and C is for compression. Yeah. So we've just solved that. Right. We can write in our values. Our values were thirty-four point six. Okay. So now I'm going to give you like a little story about them, right? So, you got Frog, and Frog's like, he's, he's saying, hey look, I'm the most important member in this trust, right? So, look, none of you guys are taking any vertical moment. I'm the one taking all the vertical moment here. I'm the real hero of this show, right? And it's true. He is taking a vertical component and a horizontal component. He is going in both of those directions. But, the real star of the show here is Effie. Because Effie is taking 55.9 newtons of force. 